What if you want to add guides? What if you want to create a loft that has several guides between different curves? Let's take a look at that process. So again, let's start our sketch on the XY plane. And this time we're going to use a spline. Now I'm going to use an interpolation spline just because it has the control vertices on the spline itself. It'll make it a little bit easier for us to constrain. So I'm going to go just add a couple points. You don't really have to be very specific. Just make sure that you click on the origin as you're dragging your points and then hit OK. Now again, the geometry doesn't really matter. I'm not fully defining anything here. But what I want to do is go to work plane one and create a new sketch on there as well. The exact same process. We're just going to add a bunch of points here. Make sure that we go through the origin and say, OK, have some geometry. So now we have a curve on the original XY plane and a curve on our five inch offset plane. We're going to make another sketch. This time we're going to go to the YZ plane. And again, we're going to do a, a spline. We're going to make sure that we snap to those origin points. Sometimes you might have to move this out of the way or zoom in and say, OK. Now we can control these by moving the control vertices around if we want less curvature or more curvature. But what we have here is we have a start and an end loft profile and we have a rail. So let's finish this sketch and let's take a look at how to use this. So we're going to do a loft and we're going to go from this rail and notice that it's not allowing us to click it. What you want to do is you want to first select your output as a surface, then it'll let you select those rails. And then over here, we want to grab this curve and notice that it's not allowing it to create it. The preview on the screen is not working. Now this may be an issue with the direction or the curvature of these splines, but let's say okay and let's see what the error is. Operation failed, part didn't update, loft didn't update, and it says it has problems with the specified rail curve does not intersect one or more section. All right, so it's telling us that it doesn't intersect. So we're gonna go back to sketch nine. We're gonna edit the sketch. We're gonna rotate it around and note that even though we clicked, that's not on here anywhere, right? What we need to do is we need to make sure that we apply a relation between them. So if we select this point, notice that it doesn't allow us to select this point either. And this is the problem that we have from time to time when we're trying to create this curvature. This side is perfectly fine because that's the actual origin point. We made sure that this curve and this curve went to it. So by default, those curves intersect, but this one over here doesn't. So how do we get around this problem of making sure that these intersect? Well, there's a few ways that we can do this. If you try to do a, a projection or a cut edge, notice that it fails to project cut edges because we're not dealing with the solid here. We're dealing with a curve. Now, if you have a solid or a surface, you can bring in geometry very easily. It can slice it and it works just fine. But in this case, it doesn't allow us to bring that in. If we try to project geometry, what we end up getting here is a vertical line. So if we try to constrain these, we don't have a point. What we do is we have this sort of vertical line that we can go up and down on. That's obviously doesn't help us very much either. So in order to get around this, the way that we work with this is inside of a 3D sketch. Now, when we create a 3D sketch, we have some options to sketch on planes. So if I start a spline, and again, I'm going to use an interpolation spline, I can pick a plane that I want to sketch on. So if I sketch here, again, I can follow the same process, just simply going up and down. And then I can come over here and snap to that point and say, OK, I'm going to right click and I'm going to hide sketch nine and take a look at what I've created. So obviously this goes up and down quite a bit. It's a little wild. But the point is that in a 3D sketch, we're allowed to snap to those points. We can finish the sketch, go back into our loft, Make sure that we tell it it's a surface first. We'll go from this curve to this curve. And then when we add our rail, everything should intersect. Now we snap to this point and we snap to this point. But when we hit OK, we still get a loft creation fail. All right, so it tells us that resulted in self intersecting 
So what this is telling us now is that our points are intersecting. It's not having a continuity issue, but it's telling us that it's self-intersecting because our curvature is just a little too wild. So if we edit these, all we really want to do is we want to bring the curvature back into reality a little bit. We'll finish that sketch. We're going to edit sketch eight. Now, depending on how you drew your splines, you may or may not have this issue. If you kept the curvature fairly mild, then everything's probably okay on your end. I'm going to go ahead and just move these points around and give it one more shot. Again, tell it it's a surface first. We're going to go from this curve to this curve, and we'll try to add that rail one more time. So you notice now that we took the curvature down just a little bit, it allowed us to use that. We can say OK. And now again, we'll change the translucency. We're looking at a complex 3D curve, a complex 3D shape here. Now, obviously, this is a very generic example because it we're not really looking at an application. And we'll talk about applications in our next module a bit more. But in this case, what we really want to focus on is how we can get 3D curves, in this case, two 2D sketches, and then a 3D sketch to connect the two. So we can use them as guides and rails for lofts. Now, they don't have to be this complicated. You can make them as easy or as complicated as you want. But in this case, it's important that we understand that the 3D sketch allows us the extra little bit of freedom that we need in order to snap to those splines.